Well, here we go then, boys and girls. It is the start of season six. We've had a spectacular transfer window. We've spent an awful lot of money. We now have a team fit for the Champions League. But first up, we have to face Bayern Munich in the European Super Cup. Easy peasy. Right, this is the team then for the European Super Cup. We are going to blast through the European Super Cup and some Premier League games and see how good this new team is. We've got our three tactics trained. We're going to use the 4-3-3 against Bayern Munich because we're very afraid of them. We have new boy Isaac Hansen Arouen in midfield and the new Harry Maguire, Ben Nelson, playing centre-back for us. Otherwise, it is a very familiar team. Obviously, Joe Michael is now a permanent player at the club. And we have got new boys, Ventosa, Silas, Varane, all sat, Becker all sat down there on the bench. And of course, Stolazic and James Trafford are both back at the club as well. It's all very exciting. Not very pretty, I tell thee. Come on, then. Look at Ronnie Edwards. Look at him go. Our captain. Oh, for goodness sake. We could have sold him to Leeds. They offered us £30 million for him. How did that not go in? La, 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 la. There's Nelson, look. Oh, Sir Declan Rice plays for Bayern Munich. And gave the ball away to Spendi, because Spendi's a hero. Who, have they, who else have they got? I mean, they've signed some players here, haven't they? Mane must be getting on a bit, though. We're six years in. The only reason he left Liverpool is because he was ready to draw his pension. So far, so excellent. Uh, by the way, as you would expect, they've got the graphics for the European Super Cup as well, which obviously they would have done. It's the UEFA licence they've got. Uh, this is the first time I've played in the European Super Cup since the license has been in, so I hadn't seen it before. Was there mu is there special music for this? Have I missed special music? I'm very upset if I've missed special music. I predict a massive win for Bayern Munich because they are all over us here. Goodness me, well in, Ronnie. That is not a penalty! That is absolutely... That's it, chase him, Ronnie. Chase him. You tell him. Oh, he stopped. That was absolutely not a penalty. He won the ball. The player stayed on his feet. How? Absolute filth and dirt. Come on, Caprile. Boo. Boo. Oh, look at us. Passing the ball around like we have a football team. Look at us go. Come on, drill it over. Penalty for us then. Has to be. That was way more a penalty than the one at the other end was. As you were, boys and girls. Right, here we go. Endrick with the chance to level things up just before half time. Come on, Endrick. Announcing himself at Champions League level, just so everyone's fully aware of him. No release clause now. We don't need to keep him a secret anymore. Hendrick scored against Bayern Munich and everybody's delighted. Look at him go. Good penalty. It's not quite as good as the one Mane scored. But we'll take it. We'll, we'll allow it. It is acceptable to us. 1-1 one, one at half time. Imagine if we beat Bayern Munich. Imagine if we just don't get embarrassed by Bayern Munich. I think that's an achievement. We've never played a team of this calibre before. I mean, they are better than us, as you can imagine. But they're Bayern Munich. Of course they're better than us. Question is, is their bench as strong as ours as the game goes on? Um, probably. Probably is. But let's not worry about that. We're going to make all of our substitutions. I've played Man City already. They're no Bayern Munich. Right, Michael is going to come off and we're going to bring Silas on for his debut. Who, when he's on the left, likes to be a playmaker. He ain't going to be a playmaker. He can be an inside forward out here and he can like it. We're not messing around with playmakers out wide. What save have I done that in at some... I feel like I've done that before. Although, I say that, we could go the old centre mid on attack and actually make him as the playmaker and do that. Or oh, with Unguema, of course. It did work well with Tor, didn't it? There you go. Silas can, Silas can have the Unguema honour. You have to be a special player to be bestowed that honour. And um, we're going to bring Diego on as well because I think it's important that he gets big game exposure. And see... My brain says bring Varan on here. I really kind of want to see Ventosa, but I think because it's because it's Bayern Munich, we probably bring Varan on, don't we? Swap those two over. That'll do for now. 
experience of Varane makes a lot more sense, I think. Any other game, Ventosa. Certainly any domestic game, Ventosa is the first one to come on there. Right, Skip is going to come off for Ellingham. And see, I'm not even I'm not getting Dewey on here, am I? Which is a bit of a shame, but I think we need to get Leopold on. And that will have to do. Does this go straight to penalties? I think it does, doesn't it? I feel bad for Dewey that he's not got on. But I think as box to box midfielder, Bellingham offers a little bit more. Dewey's more of the uh the playmaking chap. Whereas Bellingham's more all action. Look at that from Silas. That'll do. New number 10. How did he get a proper shirt number when everyone else gets ridiculous numbers? There's actually a few of them who've got the right number. Nelson's number six. Patrick's number three. Silas has got number 10. There's a few players here. Leopold's got number four. Several of them have ended up with the right number. Just purely by accident. Oh, Diego nearly slotting Endrick in there. Oh, Hendrik! We're going to beat Bayern Munich! Come on, Hendrik! He's ready for the Champions League. I'm so glad he's not got that release clause on him. Because this is what he's going to be doing to everyone. If he can do this to Bayern Munich, he can do this to any team in the world. He's ready to play for Brazil. Oh, my word. We're going to beat Bayern Munich. We are the greatest team in Europe. Hand the Champions League trophy over. It's like the, the WWE title. We've just won the Champions League off of Bayern Munich. That's what this means. Assuming we actually win, which we might not yet. Come on, Tarek. Mr. Next Gen. Lump it back into that. You don't need to. You're too good to lump it. I get you. I see what you're about. Hendrick will play for England. He's still got two more years before he can play for England. I suspect he'll play in a competitive game for Brazil before then. He's already played in a friendly so I don't think Hendrick's going to end up with England. Silas might. Silas is already English. So Silas could legitimately end up playing for England. Uh, I think Hendrick is probably going to be with Brazil. Caprile's had a very good game today, which is reassuring. Come on, Silas. Keep showing us how snazzy you are. Shady, pack that nonsense in. We don't give Smoothman gifted subs. You know the rules. I didn't even know he was here. We've won the European Super Cup and Shady's ruined it by giving Smoothman a gifted sub. Oh, for goodness. I, I'm, not, I'm not even enjoying this now. Ruined. For those of you watching this on YouTube, Smoothman, my former secretary from when I had a real job, has been a mod and a sub to this channel for five years and he's never put his hand in his own pocket. He always gets a gifted sub off somebody. And there he goes again. Gifted sub. Hideous. Absolutely ruined my day. <sighs> right, hold on. We need to check the manager timeline. Um, Just very quickly. Yes, we did sign TJ Eoma from Lincoln. Good. Dynamic. Oh, we're doing this side as well. So we've only got two sides of the stadium open. Interesting. And I bet when all the work... How have they got Makoko? They're Newcastle. And I bet when all the work is done, all we'll have done is fill in the corners. I tell you what, Caprile's on one at the moment, isn't he? They've got Makoko, and we've got Hendrick, so I guess we can't complain too much. This is a building site. How reduced must our attendance be at the moment, our capacity? How are we even allowed to play here when two sides of the ground are building sites? Right, come on, boys. Oof, Silas. Who didn't have the best season for Brighton last year. Right, come on, Spendy. Justify me keeping you here. Not like that. Oh, okay, like that. That worked. Good tracking back, young man. You get a cookie. Ventosa on his debut. Lovely distribution from him. <laughs> oh, dear. Not playing for Brazil under 21s now. Come on, Dewey. That's why we keep him in as a box-to-box. None of this two DM, DMs nonsense. Look at Dewey go. And now our, our forwards swarm at them. Come on, swarm, boys. Swarm. This is what we want. We love swarming. The £85 million man 
with the first time cross and Spendy can't get proper contact on it. Come on, lads. Let's have a goal. Drill it over the... Oh, oh, don't drill it. Give it to Tarek. That works. Hendrik, anyone? I forgot they had Simon in goal as well. Newcastle are a top four team. I don't think they did finish top four. I think they finished sixth last season, I think. This isn't ideal. Come on, chaps. Look at Dewey go. We've got, um, we've got a spare man here if we can find him. Of course, oh, I thought Silas had found him. They've got Gradiol as well. How, who haven't they got in this Newcastle team? This is madness. They're doing the same save idea that I'm doing. They're just signing all the Wonder Kids. Except they're signing all the FM22 Wonder Kids. And I'm getting the FM23 Wonder Kids. This is silly. Right, come on, chaps. We need an equaliser here. Although I guess if Newcastle are as good as Chris is making up that they are, um, this might not be a terrible result. Do we change our 4 2 3 1 to have two DMs then? Is that the right thing to do? I hate the midfield. Really dislike it. Lloyd Grossman off of the source. Yes, Lloyd Grossman off of the source. Unless we put Hansen back here and stick to it. I'm just going to press submit before I check. Oh, it's horrible. We'll give it half an hour if we're not 4 0 up. We never, we never speak of this again. We're learning the tactics. What a waste of a formation this is. Can't even defend set pieces. Absolutely hideous. We can't lose to Middlesbrough. This is why I love the fact we've built a showdown squad. Because we can just switch without having to change any of the personnel. We do everything like a showdown squad these days. Oh, Ronnie! Why does Deli Alley always score against us? I didn't diss the team name. I accurately described the team name. It is spelt Middlesbrough. There is no borough in the name. I can read. I can spell. I can speak. Boo and hiss. Right, come on, chaps. We are doing the diamond now. There's no excuses. Just go and do a football. We're going attacking. We're demanding more. I'm going to berate you in a minute if you're not careful. We just like to experiment against Bruch. Oh, this is awful. Varane's getting fired. Can I fire Varane at half time? What a waste of space Varane is. Do, do, do. Um, there we go. Fix that problem. He's done. He is finished. He's a tactical genius. <laughs> That's how you do a substitution, boys and girls. There you go. <laughs> Watch him get a hat trick now. You can't win anything, anything knee with kinds. Editor Chris, 2022. You can't win any Thigny with kinds. I'd like that on the screen now, Chris. That's what he's just typed in the chat. He's lost his mind. Brand's entirely at fault for what's happened today. So he is finished. I will be releasing him after this game. Mutual termination incoming. We're bringing Pepetti back. Look how much of a threat Nelson is from the set pieces. Didn't see any of this from Varane. We just brought Varane in to make him a scapegoat. We wanted to bring in a multiple times Champions League winner so I could sack him for not being good enough. Just let everybody, every posh player know where the bar is. You have to be better than a multiple time Champions League winner. Come on, Ricky. What is with this goalkeeper? This is the most ridiculous match I've ever played. We should be like four or five up. I don't understand how we're losing this game. I should sign this goalkeeper. I absolutely shouldn't. He's the fellow we had at Leamington. Why is the keeper wearing the same outfit as the outfield players? Because he's a cheat. <laughs> what is happening? Can we just take a moment to check the XG, everybody? I think we'd all feel better if we checked the XG. What have I witnessed today? This is on Varane and Endrick. We've got no money for deadline day. Should we sell Beerith? So that we can buy something special on deadline day. 
<laughs> Is there even a striker we could get? Oh my word, we've got to play Paris Saint-Germain. They feel like hard fixtures. Surely we should have been pot A. So how have we ended up having to play Paris Saint-Germain, Milan, Sporting, Sevilla, Monaco and Roma? Hey, Everington's our new assistant manager. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Now we're bringing a new coach. Make sure that he's doing all of the correct bits that I don't want to do. Um, go. I love the fact that it defaulted to getting Simon Davies to do all of this, and he's the guy I passed over to give Everton the job. Maybe Davies was better suited to it because the game's automatically given all of these roles to Simon Davies. It's fine. Do you think we need him, Mike? We needed a 25th player. He's Brazilian, so I guess there's that. And if we're having to play Tarek on the right-hand side of midfield here, that can't be right. Why are we doing that? Why is Spendy not even on the bench? Right, we're doing the diamond. They've got Lewandowski up front. What the hell? We're six years in the future. Arsenal have got Robert Lewandowski as a 40-year-old and he's just scored an absolute worldie. I'm going to bed. What on earth is going on? Considering we're six years in the future, there's not a huge amount of change to this Arsenal team. Apart from Lewandowski being in it. Oh, look at Dewey go. He's too good not to be in the team. Any system we use needs him as a key part of it. That was a football. If that's disallowed for offside, there's no justice in the world. Because that was a sensational finish. Come on. So what you're telling me now is we've got to fit both of these two in the midfield. What a finish. Ba, 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 ba. This is a crazy half of the ground. We should put a mural up like Arsenal did at Highbury years ago. Come on, more. We've made five substitutions. That didn't help, did it? <laughs> this has been a horrible start to the season. I blame Smoothman as well. It was fine until he turned up. Matt fix at Hendrick. No. All of Matt's incredible technical talents. He's awful at football manager. As he shows with his opinions on the lowdown. There's no talk of uh of Hendrick leaving. Shall we sign Mudrick? To replace Spendy. That'd probably be a half decent swap. Station window. That's all good. Man United want Caprile and he wants to go. <laughs> on deadline day. But well, they can just bite me. That's not happening on deadline day. Not a chance. What's happened to their goalkeeper? They actually not have one. So I've got this guy who's requested a transfer. How have they got to this point? Without a goalkeeper. What on earth are they doing? Who did they have in goal? Why have I clicked on me? Are any of those a goalkeeper? Who? What? I mean, you're not going. It's deadline day. I don't think I would argue against the fact that Man United are a bigger club. I'm an ambitious player and this bid is a great opportunity. We're in the Champions League. You spoon. What would it take to keep you? I need to be winning leagues. We're going to win the league this year. Don't look at the league table. It's none of your damn business. We are in the Champions League, though. We'll just tell him we're going to win the league. This isn't something I can compromise on. I've said what it would take to keep me. It's up to you to agree to it or lose me. I literally... Just agreed to it. What is the matter with you? You said you wanted to win the league. I said, okay, we'll win the league. And you aren't happy. 
I can promise you that we can achieve that. I think we'll be able to do it this season. I appreciate you want to keep me here, but that's not... You just said if I promised you that you would stay. You're a liar. I can see I'm fighting a losing battle. No. No. I think I'm being reasonable right now, so you might want to reconsider before that changes. You're not going. It's deadline day. You are not going unless they give us stupendous money for you. That's not stupendous, is it? The, none of these offers are stupendous. Flipping like that's stupendous. 44 and a half million. This feels like something for future Kev to deal with on Sunday. I can't cope with this now. Future Kev can handle this. <laughs> 